Hi, it's Natasha. Thanks for being here today. I have a Pilates class, body weight only, just a mat, maybe water and a towel and you'll be set. We are doing a series of about 10 drills. Sometimes we'll have a right left component. I am not going to use a timer today, so we're going to go through the exercises a number of times until we feel burn and we're ready to move on to the next exercise. You'll have plenty of time to get to know each drill. We'll probably be in each one for about two minutes, but like I said, no timer today, no pressure. Just have fun with it. Really explore the movement with your flexibility, your range of motion, um, and your strength. We're going to use the body weight as our weight. So I want you to really put tension in the muscles, working with activation of the core, of course, but also your other limbs. We are using a Pilates breath. So you'll do a forced exhalation on the exertion. So you're just going to push out while corseting in, drawing the navel to spine, that core engagement that feels like you're laughing or you're coughing. So we want to tense up as we push the air out. Sometimes it'll be a fiery, quicker exhale, and sometimes it'll be a little more drawn out, depending on the exercise. Remember, we're going to imagine we're moving through water and again, really activate the muscles. You can put as much effort or as little effort as you want. Pilates is easy to cheat, so we're going to work hard today. Take breaks as needed. You always have that pause button as well. Let's take a couple breaths together and then we'll get into drill one. The first two are standing leg work exercises. Go ahead and ground into your space, spread your toes, lift the crown, take a deep breath in. Big sigh out, soften something, relax the face, come into your body, into your space. Let go of distractions and have expectations on ourselves, moving with intention, with effort, and just gauging how the body feels in each exercise and each shape. Inhale, let's stretch the arms up. Exhale, hands come into heart center, come halfway into a fold. Send the hips back, the crown of the head forward, and feel the length in the hamstring, hamstrings and the spine. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, hands to heart center, forward bend. Again, inhale, lift. Exhale, this time swing the arms back, long neck and spine. Dip into those toes. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, halfway fold. Soften the knees and then pulse the arms up as you pull the belly towards the spine. Gaze at something a little bit ahead of you. Neutral neck and spine. Four, three, two, one. Drop into a fold. Dropping your body over your legs. You can bend the knees generously. Maybe sway your head and your hips. We'll be on the hands a little bit. So let's go ahead and come down to yogi squat and flip the palms, putting a little pressure into the hands in different directions. Upside down side to side, and while you're doing that, you can stretch into the ankles and the toes, the feet as well. Fists, fingertips. Let's crawl into tabletop, walk your knees under your hips and move through a couple rounds of cat-cow. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, push the mat around the spine, tuck the tailbone. You can wiggle sideways, some narrow circles, and while you're at it, maybe the shoulders and the head want to get involved. You can sit back on the heels and do some neck, neck circles. Just kind of feeling out any sticky spots, seeing where you want to go. Cat cow seated, feeling your hips and your quads, and then lengthening through. We'll take a couple sets of lunges. Circle sweep the arms back, send the hips forward, switch. From kneeling, hip thrust, circle sweep, step left, big circle in the arms. Sit back, two more, circle sweep, then bring your left hand towards your right foot and do another circle. Come back through, knees meet, last one, left foot steps forward. 
Circle sweep the arms back, chest proud, and then right hand down towards left foot. Stack your shoulders and sweep one more big circle. Good, lift and let's come into standing. Walk your way up. Any little shakes and wiggles and last moment stretches you wanna do. Our first drill will be a series of squats. We're gonna to go to the right with a narrow tiptoe, a wider squat, a side lunge, and then you're gonna side stretch and swing back, all right? So let's go ahead and shake out, circle those wrists, link the fingers, a couple more shoulder circles, and a few hip circles. And then let's go. All right, so arms are gonna be optional. Whatever you think just flows nicely with the move. We'll start with a toe tap, narrow lunge squat. Maybe hands to heart center. Regular squat, you could reach your arms long. And then a lateral lunge, you could reach for the floor. And then take a big circle sweep towards the right and step back in to the left. Narrow toe tap, wider squat, side lunge, sweep side stretch. So we have the sequence, tiptoe narrow, reach long squat, side lateral lunge, and circle sweep the arms to the right. Step it back in, toe tap, squat, side lunge, Sweep and stretch. Feel your obliques, tuck your pelvis, step it in. A couple more rounds. Toe tap, squat, side squat or side lunge, side stretch. Come on in. Narrow toe, regular squat, side lunge, and side stretch. Challenge those edges of the stretch. We have tiptoe, squat, lunge, stretch it over, tiptoe, squat, lateral lunge, side stretch, let's do one more round, toe, squat, lunge, stretch, toe, squat, lunge, and side bend, draw it in, how does that feel for you? Give everything a nice little shake out. Drill two, we'll start in a plie. Widen your knees, tuck your pelvis. Shoulders over hips so our spine is long. We're gonna go into some high heel, low heel, like you're doing a jack in your goddess. Toes, heels, toes, heels. Two and one, good. Big rotation, we're gonna Spin behind us, come center, spin behind us. Try and follow those twisting lunges all the way behind you, twisting towards that hip that's in front of you. Come back, all right? So we got high, low, high, low. Four of each. Heart rate's gonna climb on this one. And then spinning, twist. Bring your hands, rotate behind you. Feel your obliques. Pick up your heel and come down 90, 90 knees. Couple more rounds. Spinning, twist, gather up, make it graceful, fluid. Spin on those toes, pivoting, bringing your knees and hips for the ride. Last one. Twisting lunges, spiral, spiral, whew, and spiral. All right, shake it out. We're gonna make our way down into a plank pose by crawling out, come to one side of your mat and find your plank. Connect to the breath to bring the heart rate down a little bit. Bring your knees down, stretch back into child's pose. All right, on this next row, we have knees, chest, chin push-ups. From child's pose, right leg lifts up. You can keep the left knee down, or you could even curl the heel in with a little hamstring curl. 
sit back, then left toes up, knees, chest, chin. You can find your elbows to your ribs and do a small push-up, or you can really bring the chest and chin down. Lots of uh, options for you on this one. Now, let's add on, it's optional. We're gonna take the right leg up. We're gonna spin our hips to the left and reach your legs up to a high V. Come on back. Left leg lifts, knees, chest, chin. Spin your hips to the right and then lift high V abdominals and then just roll on back alternating right leg lifts whew, hips go left right leg v right left left leg knees chest chin spin your hips to the right and then left right high v whew, right leg spin left rolling to the side High V, try to get that down. Left leg to the sky, spin hips right, and then lift into high V. How is that for you? Stretch it back, we'll do another round. So you've got the regular knees, chest, chin. You can stretch your wrists out while you're resting. And then we'll do four of each. Then we'll break it down to two of each, and that will be our drill three. So start in the child's pose, gaze ahead. Right leg lifts, you can hamstring curl the left or keep the leg down. Come back, four. Left leg up, or maybe two of keeping the foot down, two adding the extra hamstring curl. Left. All right, now right leg up, push up, roll hips to your left, high knee toe tap. Come back around. Reset left leg up, spin your hips right, and then lift into your high V. Come back, two more. Right leg lifts, sit your hips. You can keep that leg up the whole time. Whatever works for you. There's lots of ways you can do it. So you can keep that left leg lifted as you sit the hips, or you can put it down, and then lift to high V. Two more. Right toes to sky, sit, spin. Facing away from where you started. Come on back. Left toes to the sky. Sit hips right. High V. All right. Take a little recovery. Stretch it back. And this will be the last time. We'll do one of each. Right, left, right, left. Traditional knees, chest, chin. And then spinning knees, chest, chin to both. Here we go. Charge forward. Right toes high. Send hips back. Left, charge, sit the hips back. Now right, spin your hips to the left, lift to high V, facing the back. Come back around. Left leg lifts, knees, chest, chin. Hips sit, spin, high V, and come on back, sit back. Child's pose. All right, again, let's take a moment to release the wrists because we are on the hands for one more here. We're gonna come into a downward facing dog. We have one big tuck and then one little side plank crouch. All right, we're gonna stay on the right side. We'll do four, four, two, two, one, one. All right, that'll be the low flow. Spread your fingers, shoulder width apart. Tuck your toes and then start to just pedal your down dog. Come into a little bit of stretching. You could use some Small spinal waves, round, use the core, arch. Staying in your down dog, not coming into plank. Wave, round the spine forward. Arch the back, hips back. Hips forward, heart forward, and then press it on back. All right, walk your feet a little closer together. Slide the right toes nice and high. We have knee to nose. I want you to crunch it and feel the abs. Good, lift it up. Now spin to the side and then bend your knees so your hips can tap by your heels. Little side plank crouch, right leg lifts again. Here's three, down dog tuck. Don't be afraid to hop in if you need to be a little closer. Good, and then sip into a side plank. You could cross your ankles and then sit your hips and lift. Spin right leg up again. 
If you feel too wide, hop it in. Two more. Tuck. Extend. Side plank. Crouch. Little side plank squat. One more. Down dog split. High tuck. Extend. Sweep into side plank. Crouch. Extend. Come back. If you need to come down to the knees or just shake out those wrists, you're welcome. We're going to go right into the left side for four. Left toes high, down dog split. Big tight tuck, knee to nose. Good. Lift. Now cross, open into a side plank, and then bend your knees, little crouch or thinking of a side plank squat. Down dog split, left leg up. High tuck, crunch. Lift. Foot down, open to side plank, and then crouch, squat, turn belly belly down, left toes up, down dog split, big tuck, crunch it in, make your abs do that. Side plank, sit, lift, spin back, left toes up, last one, crunch, lift, side plank, dip, lift, down dog. Knees down, relax. Feel free to hold child's pose or maybe sit up on the knees and give your wrists some love. Stretch them out. You got all kinds of ways to stretch the wrists. Little figure eights, roller coasters, back of the palms, circles, blinks, shakes. Okay, so we're gonna break this down to right, to left, and then a couple singles. Take your time to get back in. Ooh, got a little neck crack there. Downward facing dog, right leg splits up. Find your range of motion, flexibility as well. Now one tuck, lift, cross your ankles, side plank, squat, come back one more time, right toes up, big tuck, and lift. Cross side plank, side plank, crouch or squat. Now this time step down, left toes up. Left knee to nose tuck. Good, cross your ankles, spin to side plank and dip. Like a little plie, left toes up. Big tight tuck. Lift, cross your ankles, side plank, dip. And come back, both feet down. One of each, right toes up. We have a big tight tuck and extend. Cross ankles, spin side plank, dip, and lift. Come right back, down dog, step right, left toes up. Tuck, and lift. Cross ankles, side plank, sit, and lift. Come back through down dog. Bring those knees down, and relax. This might be a good point to get some water. Again, give your wrists some love. We will be off the hands next few. Coming into side laying. All right, so come on to your right side. We're gonna bring our knees at the 45, hips are stacked, and we're gonna try to bring our hands behind our head. So this is a core strength right here so that we have this side stack position and we're really nice and engaged through our core. We're going to spin our elbow forward and down as the leg sweeps back and then spin the leg forward as you open and try to crunch towards the ceiling. All right, let's do it again. Thoracic rotation, twist and stretch the leg back. Elbow can tap the floor. Thoracic rotation up, leg forward, ab crunch. Next little section, we're going to lift our top leg and then our bottom leg. It's going to be a little wobbly. Top leg, bottom leg. So we got outer thigh and inner thigh reset. Thoracic twist, open, little side crunch. It might not look like much, but I'm lifting. Okay, leg back, twist forward, leg forward, twist up and crunch. Now stack. Top leg, step, bottom leg. Top leg, bottom, inner thigh, outer thigh, reset. 
twist down the first one you can just keep your knees stacked then bring your leg back twist bring your leg forward lift crunch extend leg lift high inner thigh stack outer thigh inner thigh couple more twist down twist up and crunch leg back twist down leg forward crunch and lift towards the sky neutral outer thigh leg raise adduct abductor inner thigh leg raise if you'd like you could put your hand down for support or you can keep your hands behind your head to make it more wobbly last one thoracic twist elbow down elbow up and crutch now leg goes back elbow goes forward leg swings forward elbows go back and up crutch neutral leg raise leg raise top and bottom beautiful come on up crawl yourself up we'll take some gentle twists from side to side neck and side bend really whatever you need to do in between sweeping your legs over come down to your left side Try to stack your hips, your ribs, your shoulders, bring your hands behind your head. So we're kind of light on this bottom elbow and we're really engaged, pulling belly towards spine. Start with the upper body, twist down, spiral up, little crunch. Twist down, spiral up. Good, we're gonna add leg back, twist forward. Leg forward, twist back, little crunch. Maybe just an inch or two. Leg back, toe tap, leg forward, crunch. Now our top leg's gonna lift and our bottom leg's gonna lift. Abductor, outer thigh hip, and then try to get your inner thigh. Put it together. Thoracic twist, tap the elbow, elbows and chest up, crunch. Leg back, elbow forward, leg forward, elbow back, crunch. Now top leg, bottom leg, top leg. And you have lots of variation with how you want your upper and lower body. You could step on the foot, you can keep both legs extended, reset. Twist, thoracic twist down, up, crunch. Thoracic twist down, up, crunch. Add the leg. Leg back, elbow forward. Leg forward, elbow back. Big crunch. Come back high top leg bottom leg top leg bottom leg feel all the shakes and wobbles stay really active twist leg back leg forward open crunch and then top leg bottom leg stack hips leg raise and bottom leg raise again twist open crunch leg back elbow forward leg forward elbow back little lift leg up leg under good abduct adduct inner thigh squeeze nice job crawl it up little twists and little neck rolls Whew. exercise come to seated Stretch yourself out in a forward fold. Take some breaths here. Walk the hips back. All right, hands out in front of you. We're gonna take the right arm diagonal to the left as the left arm reaches back. Twist and fold. Now sweep the right fingers back as the right leg lifts. Then the left leg can lift as well. Down, down. Good, reach forward, spin up. So left hand forward twist cartwheel the left arm back lift the left leg you can reach your toe your fingertips down reach for your toes whatever's there then a little leg lift and come on back to your fold reset right twist to the left left arm back right arm circles back right leg lifts you can grab it or just tap it make it harder without actually touching spin to fold Good, left leg, or left arm twists over right leg, left arm circles back, left leg, right leg lift. 
Come on back. Sit up tall. So we have a twisted fold. Cartwheel back diagonal. Add a leg lift and then the other. And come on back. Fold. Twisted fold. Cartwheel back. Left. Right. And forward fold. Two more. Right arm crosses left pinky. Right arm circles back to the diagonal. Right leg, left leg, left, right. Fold, last one. Twist towards your right. Circle left hand, left leg raises. Right, down, down, and fold. Let's do a traditional abdominal roll. Sit up tall. Hinge back. Let those feet drag back. Push down into those heels and take yourself back nice and slow. Inhale, stretch the limbs apart. Exhale, tuck your chin as the hands reach over the head and see if you can pull yourself up with a rounded spine and release. Beautiful job. Let's move on. We're going to stay in this position. We're going to take it into a reverse curl split. Lift up into a seated split and then Okay, another sequence in this position, rolling onto our back for a reverse curl split. So take it down, lift your right leg. So you're gonna use a little bit of help from your shoulders, your head and your hands, you'll feel this in the triceps. Right toes up, reverse curl split. Only go to where it feels safe for your back. On the way up, slow the roll down and then lift onto the hands, so a little triceps. Step on the left foot, swing your hips up, reverse table. Come on back and through the forearms, reset. We'll do four right, four left, and we'll see how we feel. So let's count that as practice. Here we go. Right toes up, reverse curl, split. Right toes behind you, left toes to sky. Roll down with care. Tuck your chin, press onto your hands. Step on the left foot, swing your hips through, little reverse table. You could be on your toes if you'd like as well. Roll down, you can come down the forearms and then reset, here's three. Reverse curl out, slow, press onto your hands. Step the left foot out. If you feel more comfortable spinning your fingers backwards or sideways, if it feels easier on the wrist, that's okay, but then go ahead and put them back forward so you can roll your way down. Woo, two more. Reverse curl split, slow lower. Tuck your chin, forearms to hands. Bring your left foot down, hinge your hips forward, push your chest through. Come back through seated, forearm to spine, oof, you need a little release in that hip flexor, release the right foot one more time. Tuck your, tuck your pelvis, roll on up, split. Slow, controlled, roll down and then momentum forward. Step on the left foot, swing the hips through. Cross your ankle and sit in figure four. Rocking side to side, take a moment and then come back down for the left side. And you can also tug your left knee in first and try to really release through that right hip flexor. That was pretty challenging. Shake out those hands, connect to the breath. This time your left foot's gonna reach over the head, right toes to sky. It doesn't have to be deep. It could be a smaller range if it feels unsafe for your neck. So reverse crawl. You can use a little momentum here, but it's mostly strength from your core. A little bit of help with your hands. Split, roll down, tuck your chin, forearms to hands. Step on the right foot, hip thrust. Squeeze your glutes and hamstrings. Swing back, fingers forward, roll down the spine. Reset, three more. Left toes, swing back, right toes to sky, split. Slow roll out, tuck your chin, press onto the hands. Step your right foot down. If you want wider hands, that's okay. Hips up. You can keep your chin tucked forward or back. This is all about 
how it feels in your body. Forearm, hands, head down. Two more. Reverse curl L. Slow lower, press up. Seated, step on the right foot. Maybe it's a little further away so you have more space to pull those hips through. Again, chin can be forward or stretching back. Have a seat, roll down the spine. Whoo, one more time. L, reverse curl. Find your shape, lower out, tuck the chin, forearms to hands, step on the right, hip thrust, reverse table swing, have a seat, lower back down. Hug the right knee in and stretch out that left hip flexor while you push down. <sighs> nice work. Let's come on back as I left up that little figure four. Cross your ankle and then just release into that left hip. External, ro external rotation. Take some breaths here. Okay, we only have two more exercises to go. Hope you're feeling good. We're going to work into our back. Superman, Skydiver, and then a little flip to Wild Thing. If your hands are bothering you, you can skip that part. We have done a lot on the hands. And then the last one as well, we have a section that's off the hands, and a little option to press up the hips. So see how your wrists are feeling today. All right, come down onto your belly, laying prone. Fingers long, toes long behind you. Fingers in front of you, forehead to mat. Inhale to Superman, fly. Bend your knees, reach back, skydiver. Good. Now, right knee stays bent, left leg extends. Sit, spin. Option for a little wild thing, like a reverse plank lift. Come back around. Slowly uncurl the left. Stretch the arms out. You got it. Superman. Skydiver. It's like bow without touching your legs. Left leg curls in, right leg extends. Flip and push. Wild thing. Little option to back bend, or it could be more like a little reverse plank. Hamstring curl, extend, extend arms. Couple more. Superman, skydiver. Right knee stays bent, curl it in. Push away, flip your body, and reach up. Wild thing. Spin back, keep your hamstring and glute engaged, and then release it long. Float, Superman, skydiver. Left hamstring curl, right extends. Push and flip, lift and fly. Let's do two more. Sit, spin, keep the hamstring and the glute engaged, and then stretch it all along. Superman, skydiver, make it graceful. Right knee bends, push away, flip, sit. Unwind, keep the hamstring curled, extend it all out. Superman, skydiver, left curl, right long, push away, and then flip it over. Come back through, come back, left curls, press it out, tuck your toes. We're gonna push all the way up, either from the knees or right off the knees. Three push-ups, three, two, one. Knees, chest, chin, pull your heart through, up dog or cobra. Child's pose. Take a breath there. Reach the arms long. Last drill for the day. Come into a seated straddle. Maybe breathe into a little pancake stretch. Wherever that is in your body, no judgment. Release through the groin, the inner thighs, and the hamstrings. We're gonna side bend lateral for four. And then you have the option to press onto the hands just like we did in Wild Thing, but it'll be more of in a split leg, fallen triangle, if you're familiar with yoga. And it gives us a nice hip flexor quad stretch while still working into the shoulders, upper body a bit. All right, but if your wrists are feeling it, 
You could maybe come down to the forearm and do it to give your wrists a break. Um, but you'll need a little more flexibility in that side bend to get that low to see how it feels or skip it and just do the side bending. Hands behind your skull or fingertips. Wide elbows. If you need to bend the knees, bend the knees. We're going to go right to left. Four, three. You have the option to extend the arms for more weight. Two, one. Right hand diagonal from right hip. Circle sweep your arm as you press up into that splitted triangle. Left hand, sweep right arm, reset. Side bend, side bend. You could go for your elbow tap if that's there and then a big reach and reach. Make it big, you should be nice and flexible right now, but listen to your body. Big circle, circle sweep, spin, hips forward, Spin, make it graceful. You're almost there. And dip, and then extend those arms, reach. Maybe fingers towards the earth. And circle, sweep your hand. Other arm makes a big circle. Good, find your range of motion. Follow it. Two more rounds and we're done. Exhale, dip, and dip, reach. Reach, try and keep the sit bones down. Circle sweep. Good, and again, if you want to stay down because your wrists are bothering you or it's too much, you could skip that part. This one I'll try to make it down to the forearms, but it is going to require a pretty flexible body here. You can bring your forearm down and then lift. Bring your forearm down and then lift. Nice work. Couple deep breaths. Let's bring our, the soles of our feet together. Use your elbows to pry those knees apart. Maybe fold your body over towards your feet. And release. Let's make our way into yogi squat, malasana. Push yourself onto your feet. Anything that feels good here, maybe just a couple rounds of breath. I hope you feel really good and you got your muscles nice and engaged and long stretches. Good, so we do in Pilates, it's a combination of lengthening and strengthening those muscles. I think we hit the whole body. And go ahead and drop your head, lift your hips, shake out your head. Hanging forward fold, you could bring your hands to the base of the skull. Any movement, swinging, swaying, twisting, cat cow. When you're ready to release, let your hands fall heavy. Head is already heavy. And then take a rag doll up, rolling up the vertebrae. Head and shoulders, shoulders and then head come up last. I always like to end with a flushing bow, back bend to forward bend. So join me if this feels good for you too. Inhale, reach up, we can cactus, heart up, hips forward, engage the glutes. And then as you exhale, imagine taking a big bow, bend and flush. And again, back bend, inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. Thank you so much for joining me. I had fun with that one. I hope you did too. Let me know how it went for you. Leave a comment, share, a like. All those things go a really long way and are much appreciated. I will see you in the next video. Bye.